You will never get that blessing until you decide to live and establish righteousness. See, we don't like to talk about righteousness, but God expects righteousness from black people. And until God gets righteousness, I don't care what your religion is, Muslim, Christian, Hebrew, Jehovah Witness, African traditionalism, Catholic, I don't care what path you take. Understand, you will not reach the goal unless you walk a path of righteousness. Yeah, we sin, but get back up and do it right the next time. You so used to cheating and sneaking that you think you can cheat and sneak the Lord. It ain't going to work that way, brothers and sisters. Do it right or don't do it at all. Stop taking your blackness out of your religion. Stop taking your blackness out of your spirituality. Stop taking your blackness out of your relationship with God. Do you not know when you don't give expression to the cosmic color of your skin, when you don't give expression to the cosmic color of your skin, when you don't say, I love being black, when you don't say, I appreciate the way God made me, God made me, when you don't say, no mistake was made when I was brought forth. If you can't say that, you're suppressing the active intelligence of divine design. Part of our solution as a race is we have to restore blackness to its proper place in the divine order. Isn't it funny? They tell us black is ugly, but every time you go to court, the judge got on a black robe. Isn't it funny? They tell you black is ugly, but when you graduate from high school, you got on a black robe. When you get your PhD, you got on a black robe. When you come to church, he has on a black robe. If black is so ugly, why are the most prestigious men in the world always draped in black before they come before the people? Blackness is divine. And until you stop cutting yourself off from your color, God will continue to cut himself off from us. You think it's a coincidence we on the bottom? You think it's a coincidence we on the bottom? Let me explain something to you, my Maryland family. We always talk about one God, and there is only one God. But guess what? If it is above as it is below. If it shall be below as it is above. If God is one and God made us and God made us first. If the purpose of life is to establish heaven on earth, if there's one God in heaven, all black people must become one to activate God consciousness on earth. The point that I'm making, the reason Baltimore suffers and New York suffers and Dallas suffers and Oakland suffers and Minneapolis and Memphis suffers is because we don't operate as one yet. Until we achieve oneness, See, we love talking about one God, but when are we going to operate in oneness? When are we going to function in oneness? When are we going to unite in oneness? Many of you played sports as a child. All of you have belonged to an organization before. Have you ever noticed that if you belong to a church and you've been praying by yourself, when you link up with the rest of the congregation and everybody establishes oneness and y'all pray as a one, there's a different energy in that prayer. If you play football, when you get in the locker room with your team and y'all start chanting and getting hyped for the game, it's a different energy. 
For those of you who belong to the divine nine black Greek fraternities and sororities, some of you join white ones because you hate yourself, but you know when it's time for the step show and all your Delta sisters walk in, all your AKA sisters walk in, all your SG Row sisters walk in, all your Z5B sisters walk in, your Q brothers come in, your Kappa brothers come in, your Alpha and Sigma and Iota brothers come. When y'all come together as one and put all your petty stuff to the side and say for this step show, for this conference, for this fundraiser, for this building fund, we're going to put all our differences to the side and operate as a single unit. There's a divine power that takes over. So if, if God can do that for a football team, if God can do that for a single church, if God can do that for your sorority or fraternity, imagine what God will do when all of black Maryland decides to stand together as a single unit. Oneness is the goal. Some of y'all losing faith in the most high God. Y'all say, I've been praying, Doc. God ain't answered me yet. I've been on my knees every night, Dr. Umar. If, if there's a God, why God ain't answer me? Well, there's three answers to that. Answer number one, God never responds to a dishonest petition. Some of us are asking for things we have no business wanting in the first place. Number two, God doesn't respond to the selfish. If you've done nothing for nobody lately, why would the creator do something for you? As above, so below. And the third reason many of our prayers never reach the gates of the Most High is because black people, as much as we want to be free, as poorly as we have been treated, guess what? We still haven't learned that the white man's way ain't the right way. Some of you want to be free to imitate the white man. Some of you want to be free to become a black capitalist instead of a white capitalist. In other words, God is not going to put us back on the throne as his original children. God will not put black people back on the throne as his original children until you stop imitating your oppressor. Until you reclaim your God-given African divinity, as long as you want to imitate a defunct European capitalism, stop praying because you're wasting your time. You will never get that blessing until you decide to live and establish righteousness. See, we don't like to talk about righteousness, but God expects righteousness from black people. And until God gets righteousness, I don't care what your religion is, Muslim, Christian, Hebrew, Jehovah Witness, African traditionalism, Catholic, I don't care what path you take. Understand, you will not reach the goal unless you walk a path of righteousness. Yeah, we sin, but get back up and do it right the next time. You so used to cheating and sneaking that you think you can cheat and sneak the Lord. It ain't going to work that way, brothers and sisters. Do it right or don't do it at all.